Welcome to the Top of the Morning Show. It's your girl, Titi, from the D. I hope that you rose up this morning feeling motivated and excited and pumped and ready to rock and roll as we are getting closer to the weekend. I don't know what you have on your agenda this morning. I don't know if you have to go to work. I don't know if you just got in for work. I don't know if you're going on for your, you're running on your daily jog this morning or if you headed out for your daily walk a bike ride, if you're getting a child ready for school or you're getting kids ready for school, if you're getting ready for school, if you're a young adult, salute, salute, salute. You are up and the bottom line is you're getting yourself going. This week, we're really talking about focusing on ourselves, being the best version of ourselves in different ways. And this morning, I want to drop a few tips on how to reach your goals, right? Because you know, there's only 24 hours in a day, right? Think about the 24 hours you get in a day. How many of those hours did you sleep, right? Some people might say, oh, I get at least eight hours. Great, wonderful, awesome. So then that means you have 16 more hours. Out of those 16 hours, what did you do? You might say, I had to go to work. Okay, if you have a full-time job, that means you've put in eight to 10 hours to work. So out of that 16, you have eight hours. If you did eight hours, if you did 10 hours, you have six hours. So what are you doing with the rest of the six? You have to travel to and, you know, from work to work, you know, Um, that travel time is factored in, right? You don't travel that. You don't add that into the eight hours you put in. Think about that. If like, for instance, I have to be to work flexible a little bit, but. I have to be to work at a certain time, right? Or by a certain time. There's a there's a period of where I know I need to be, unless I have something on the calendar. That doesn't factor in my travel time, which can be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the day, the weather, what's going on, right? 45 minutes to an hour to get to work. Going and coming. That's two hours basically out of my day. Then I'm putting in the eight hours. So really that's 10 hours for me. I only have 14 more hours. Now I need to sleep. I need to tend to my child because now I have a a teenager, this uh, freshman in high school, my oldest son. Shout out to Markel. He's out living his best life, planting seeds and building his own image of who he is as a man. So I have one young man at home and one grown man, my big man, my man, man, right? Swifty. And so that's just that. So when I get in, if my husband hasn't cooked, you know, I'll cook. Or we'll say, you know what? It's been a long day. He hasn't done some things and has some work to do. And we're like, we just going to grab something to eat. Oh, but if our son has to go to practice, then we got to wait. And then we're looking at two hours out of the evening. And then we got to get him for practice. But that means that we should have dinner ready for him because he's going to be tired. He's going to be hungry. He needs to get rest so he can get up and do it all over again. You hear where I'm going. You see what I'm saying. How we can just slack on our goals because we're tired. We're stretched. We're exhausted. But I'm going to give you these few tips, okay? If that's okay with you. Number one, here's something to think about. Focus on your next three. You could be like, wait. Yeah, focus on your next three. We have all those things I just talked about going on in some shape or form. When you wake up in the morning and you have whatever you do, your routine. For me, as soon as I wake up, I pray. I lay in my bed and I pray. Then I get up and I start to get ready. Sometimes, depending on the energy level the night before, I will pull out what I'm wearing the next day because that's half the battle, right, ladies? And so I'll have that out. But on some days I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, I got to get up and make the donuts. (laughs) (laughs) But in reality, if you think about the next three things that you want to get done, and let's talk about short-term, long-term goals with this, the fact, okay? I know that I have to get ready for work. I write my son's 
motivation board at night, the night before. So he has that when he rises up and he's coming downstairs, you know, getting things ready to get his day started. He can see his message on the table. So over the years, and I've been doing that for Cody since he was in preschool, once he started to read. No, I'm sorry. I take that back. Kindergarten. He learned to read in kindergarten. And so I've been doing it ever since. A message every morning, right? Even when I don't feel well. And shout out to my husband because there's been a few times where over the years I didn't feel well, like I couldn't even get out of bed. My husband would write a note. He'd say, what do you want me to say? And I'd say it and he'd go down and he'd write it on the chalkboard and sit it on the table for him. And Cody would come in, thanks, mom. You know, it's the little things, but that's one of my priorities. So that's one of the things I got to do in the morning. So I know if I do, if I wait till the morning, but I like to end my night, I'm calm, I'm relaxed, I'm getting ready to go to bed. What do I predict and want for my son the next morning, right? Yeah, so I'll do that. But if I get that out the way, I'm going back to, I got to get up and get ready for work, right? And then, you know, have conversation with my husband and my son, you know? And again, I... I do no. I do another round of prayer once I get into my car. Now you can do whatever you want or need to do, whatever that looks like, you know. But think about one to three at least. But at least the next three things you want to do as you are starting your day to be productive. Okay. Number two, make friends with boredom. Now some of us will get bored real, real quick. Then some of us. Immediately withdraw on Netflix. Like, yeah, I'm bored. I'm about to watch Netflix. Or I'm about to play Candy Crush. Y'all know about Candy Crush. That thing is addictive. (laughs) But the next time you get bored, when you've accomplished all your short-term goals, when we said, we don't got enough time to do this, that, and the third. If you have your own business, if you are an entrepreneur, most of us are in today's time. You could take that time where you were playing Candy Crush or when you were getting ready to watch that Netflix movie, whether it was on your lunch break or in between your smoke break, or you just think I no work to do. And you're like, yeah, you in class and you got that dry eye professor or teacher and electronics are okay. You're like, I'm about to catch this this series and I'm going to stop right there. Take that time and be creative towards what it is you're working on, your, your goals, your dreams. If you're a writer. Take time that you could be Netflixing, right? Or candy crushing and write out, you know, even if you have to do voice notes, take that time to be creative. That is going to get you a little bit more ahead of the game than normal, uh, than the time that you would say, well, yeah, right now, this is, I'll set up the time to do this. I'll set up the time to do that, right? We, if you think about it, it, it will blow your mind, but it's something that we definitely can get going and we can get used to doing if we implement it. Number three, another thing is reconfirm your macro vision. Yeah. You might be like, what on earth am I supposed to be doing? Newsflash. A lot of times we don't know, right? We, we don't know. but. You need to design your vision. Some of us have created, know what it's like to have a vision board, and some may not. But check in with it daily. Are you doing anything on your vision board that you said you wanted to do this year? Now, it might get deep because you might start to be like, I ain't did anything. Well, reevaluate what you do do. Maybe sit down and write down, what is it that I do all day? Because time gets away from me. You will realize, and this is no shade because I'm guilty of it too. You spend an awful lot of time scrolling on social media. Looking at what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is saying. And a lot of the time you're not doing it to gather data. You're doing it because you're bored, right? You don't know what you want to do with yourself. Gather the seeds that God gave you and plant so you can see your own harvest. Another one, optimize your mind. I'm talking about taking things to the next level. And I know that might sound crazy, right? But you want to really optimize your mind 
Remember, mind over matter, right? You want to understand that you could do anything because you can, but you got to want to. And if you don't know how, you have to be creative and figure that thing out. What does that look like for you? What does that look like to you? Right? Do something about that. Another one is to, how can I put this? Optimize your focus point. When we optimize our minds, our energy goes bananas. It goes ziggity boom, zero to 10, because we are hyped. We are zoned out, right? And that's a nice way to say it. But think about turning off all of the notifications that come into your mind. I'm too hot. Like for me, I'm older, so I'm perimenopause and I'm almost in my menopause, right? So then if I'm focused on I'm hot, now I got to, who I'm so hot, I just, I'm going to spend, how, mo- how long I'm going to spend complaining about being hot? Instead of getting the resolution, if I'm near a fan, I'll turn it on immediately, right? Or I'll turn on the air if I'm somewhere I can control the heat and the air. That's just a way to avoid procrastinating and putting it off because what I was doing because things like that will happen that will make you frustrated. You lose train of thought. Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow you got new things to do? Because in real life you do, you will. Right? Think about the things that take your mindset away from what you're trying to focus on. If you know, like I just said, that that little tiny example, I'm hot, I get hot, or I get too cold, then always have you a blanket or a shawl, right? Sweater, a jacket, a coat, whatever by you in the space and where you spend most of your time. So if you're in your office or you're in an office or you're outside, you got to have something that's right there. If you know you get hot, you know, they got all kind of little contraptions that you can buy. If you're not where you can control the air, you can have a personal fan, those little neck things that go around looking like a headphone set and it's a fan. Yeah, there's a lot of things. But if we learn to balance it and realize it's mind over matter, yeah. Things will change. And my last one I want to give you, learn to be bold and love being bold. Right? Say what you mean and mean what you say. Right? For me, I struggle with my sleeping patterns because I'm a creative person. And if I got an idea, I'm going to get, oh, I'm about to, I'll get up and I'll work on it. No one dang on well I need to go to bed. Because I got to get up for my nine to five, right? Throws off my routine. But out of the 24 hours we talked about at the top of the show, how many of those hours do I really sleep? Consider I'm a creator. And I know I'm not the only one, right? But I have to tell myself, I'll do that tomorrow. It's just like my boss at my nine to five, more than often, <laughs> will have to say, okay, all right, we leave it for the day. Hello? Let's go wrap it up. I'm like, I got it. You can leave that for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Get it done tomorrow. You got to learn to let things go. Cut it off. And I'm like, right, right, right. And so I take heed to that. Right? Think about this. A bold bear spirit gets the reward. Because they take pretty much what they want. Be it bold. Be like a bold ass bear. Take what you want respectfully, intentionally, without harming or hurting anybody else. Each one of these things can help you get closer to your dream, closer to what you want to do, how you see yourself, where you want to go to reach your goals. So that's all I have for you this morning. That was a lot. I know you're like, oh my God, TT. But that's all I have for you this morning. I hope that you'll tune in each and every morning at 6 a.m., Monday through Friday, right here for TT from the D Top of the Morning Show. Until the next time we leave sun prints under our feet, because our feet gonna burn from the sun. Burn in the bottom of our feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing.
I'm just kidding. Until the next time we leave Footprints Across the Sun, it is your girl Titi from the D, and I'll see you soon.